Shall we start? Okay. Hello everybody. Yeah. My name is John. Mm. And before we start, I would like to welcome you to Germany, to the Black Forest, to TDC and to our family Thomas shop. And today I tell you a little bit about the history of clocks and how clocks are made, okay? So now I will start with this clock here. This is the first clock that was made in the Black Forest in 1640. Very long time ago. Mm. And of course replica, so richness in the museum. And you see, it's a simply pretty one with stones its weight. It's the energy, it was a powerful clock in this time. It would be for the balance and only one hand for the house. It means sometimes you have to guess a little bit what time it is. Okay? 50 years later, in 1690, the painted face clock was made. Here we have two metal weights, a pendulum and two in for the house. But it's still no original cool clock in. It has a chime. And very typical frog clocks from this time is the moving picture up there. And don't worry, it's a German tradition. <laughs> okay? Well, the when you go by bus with the Black Forest, you will see a lot of, a lot of small guys with flatheads, no you know why. <laughs> yeah, now we come to the third generation clock. This is this clock here, and this clock was made in 1860. And we call this clock the railway station clock. And we have the same, we have two metal weights, a pendulum and 24 hours. But this clock is very special because here we have the first original Google clock. Oh. Okay? And here yeah, the bird makes every half hour one time cuckoo, and every full hour he counts the hours. That means one o'clock one time, two o'clock two times, and so on and so on. And here, yeah. here we have another, another clock, was made in the same time as this clock in 1860. And we have the same again. We have two metal weights, a pendulum, and two and four hours. And here yeah, we call this clock the potato eater or blood eater. <laughs> So now it comes to the wood. The wood is linden wood. In Germany we call it linden holz. And before we work with the wood, the wood must dry for four years because we cannot work with fresh wood. And after the four years, the wood is very soft and makes it easier to work with them. And when we work, we knit this here, a metal stencil, and we put this in the wood and spray it color on it. And then, maybe we have, for example, this one here, or this one. Okay? And then we use the sewing machine here and cut in an, in an outline from this. Okay? Yeah. And this is the only part to work with the machine. After that, it's all handmade. You see this complete clock, for example? This is all work by hand. Yeah. And a clock needs maybe two or three months to really complete. For <coughs> and yeah, after we cut this wood with the sewing machine, the wood goes to the local families. And the local families are very great carvers to mix the carbon with the wood. But very interesting is here, every person makes one thing. That means one person makes an animal, one person makes a hunter, and yeah, and so on and so on. Okay? So now we go to this side. 